Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we looked at some examples based on solving linear equations in two variables using the substitution method. Now, we will look at some commonly made mistakes while solving such questions. Solve the following pair of linear equations by substitution method. To solve this question, Pause the video and then match your answer. To begin with, take equation 1 and express any one variable in terms of the other variable. By substituting the value of x in the equation 2 and solving, we'll get the value of y as 1. By substituting the value of y in equation 3, we get the value of x is equal to 0. Therefore, for the pair of given equations, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 is the correct solution. Hence, option 3 is the correct answer. If you selected option 1, then it was a good try. But this is the wrong answer. Because, while solving the question, you expressed x in terms of y in equation 1. Then, while moving 2y from the LHS to the RHS, you forgot to change its sign and solve the question based on it and as a result you get the wrong answer. If you have selected option 2, then it's a good try. But this is also an incorrect answer. Because to solve the question, you expressed x in equation 1 in terms of y and you replace the value of x in equation 1 only. This is how you got an equation without any variable. That indicates that the pair of linear equations has infinite solutions, which is why your answer is wrong. I hope you've understood why option 3 is correct and all the other options are wrong. Teachers can test their students' understanding in the class by using such examples.